They look pretty good, but let's give them a try. Hey, what's up? This is Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com, and today we are gonna be knocking out sweet potato tater tots. Now, if you're new here to the channel, I'm a health coach and YouTuber, and I do a lot of videos around health and plant-based nutrition, including taste tests, recipes, current events, healthy hacks, and more. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, I used to love tater tots as a kid. I made them at home all the time, but I've never made them with sweet potatoes. Now, this is a recipe I found from Jessica in the kitchen. There's only seven ingredients, and I'm really excited to see how these things taste. So let's go ahead and get into the recipe. For these sweet potato tater tots, you will need the following seven ingredients. Two pounds of sweet potatoes. Now, you wanna use larger potatoes that are pretty close to the same size. That way, they cook evenly when you're making this recipe. Next, we have one teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, real quick, regarding the onion powder and the garlic powder, I am using them in this recipe just so I could get the full experience of these tater tots like I used to have when I was a kid. But as I've gotten older, those two items do upset my stomach. I do have IBS, so I am careful about what I'm eating. I am including them in this recipe, and the tater tots are pretty small, so I'm not too concerned about it, as long as I don't eat the whole batch at one time. So that is something you wanna take into consideration when making recipes, is maybe removing or just substituting ingredients that work well for you. Next, we have three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of coconut oil, and a teaspoon of coconut oil that we'll use for brushing. And finally, two teaspoons of cornstarch. Now, I don't have cornstarch in the house, so I'll be substituting arrowroot powder instead. The first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Next, bring a pot of water to boil, and then add in your sweet potatoes. And you wanna cook them for about 18 to 20 minutes if you're using smaller potatoes, around 15 minutes, as long as you can stick a fork into the middle of them, but they're still firm. Now remove the potatoes from the boiling water and run them under cold water to cool them down. Now once the potatoes are cooled, you can use your fingers or a spoon to peel the skins off. Next, using a grater, shred the potatoes into a large bowl. Once you're done, you're gonna add in all the remaining ingredients into this bowl and mix everything together and combine it thoroughly. Now is when the fun starts. It's time to make tater tots. Go ahead and use a tablespoon and then scoop out the tater tot batter and fold it into a tater tot with your fingers. Now, instead of using parchment paper or any kind of mat, I'm gonna use these cooling trays to cook the tater tots. Now they are elevated and I'm gonna just brush a little coconut oil on the bottom and then place the tater tots on top. And I will put a little coconut oil on top since the recipe does say this will help them crisp on the outside. And the reason I use this cooling tray instead of a mat is because the oven I'm using is a convection oven, which basically works as an air fryer. So I'm able to achieve that consistency without a mat. Now you wanna bake these sweet potato tater tots in the middle rack of your oven for about 40 minutes. And if you are using a tray, go ahead and flip them after about 20 minutes. Now when they're ready, remove them from the oven, let them cool down for a little bit, and then you're ready to have some sweet potato tater tots. All right, so here we have our sweet potato tater tots. They look pretty good, but let's give them a try. Oh yeah. These definitely remind me of the tater tots that I used to have as a kid. Now I will say the garlic and onion powder are really strong in this recipe. So moving forward, I'll probably just use paprika and salt, but they definitely taste great. And if you're looking for a change and you wanna make some sweet potato tarts, give these a try. So leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought of this recipe and if you're a tater tot fan like me as well. And a big shout out to Jessica in the kitchen. She does have a YouTube channel, which I will link below. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and remember to keep living fit from food. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.